Welcome to the lecture series on Digital Electronics, 18EC, 302C. In today's lecture, we are going to look at a combination circuit called Serial Header. So, we will be explaining the working of Serial Header in detail by drawing its circuit. So previously we have seen how to add the binary data using parallel ladder and in today's class we will be seeing how to add the same binary data using serial ladder by going through its combination logic circuit. So what is done by serial ladder? You can see that the serial adder and uh, how, what it will do and how it is different from parallel adder. So serial adder adds the bits of the two data one at a time. That means, so if we have the, for example, we have four bit binary data. And we need to add the 4 bit, one 4 bit binary data with another 4 bit binary data. So, here what we did in actually in parallel adder, we have used 4 parallel adders and we applied all 4 data bits of each data parallelly. And we got the sum outputs parallelly from each ladder. So there we applied all the bits parallel to the full ladder and since we have full ladders equal to the number of bits that are present in each data that addition is we call it as a parallel addition and we call that combination circuit as a parallel adder. And how do how do we add the data in serial ladder or what is meant by serial addition? Serial addition means here take the example of same 4 bit data so assume that we will be adding 1 0 1 1 this is one data. Say for example, it is A. And we have another data, four bit data. We call it as B. And here the data is, say for example, zero, one. 1 0 so how we are doing the addition here So how we are doing the addition? So we normally by hand and paper. So we will be doing the addition one. So we will start adding the bits uh, from the least significant position. And when we are adding uh, the bits in the least significant position, here it they are one and zero. And we assume that uh, input carry is also zero when we are adding the least significant bits and uh, so here we'll uh, add 1 plus 0 plus 0 the sum is 1 and the carry is 0 
and this tag goes to next position for addition along with those bits and before going to add the bits in the next position so we will observe what is what happened here so we have applied the first bit of the least significant bit of a and least significant of bt bit um, of the data b and also we have added the input carry and we have it resulted in sum of 1 and a carry of 0 so how this uh, addition is performed by using a logic circuit So here we will be using full adder, full adder which can add 3 bits and produce a sum and carry. So to add bits in this position we will be using one full adder. So which produces, which uh, takes these 3 bits as inputs and produces a sum output as 1 and carry output as 0. So in the process of serial addition what we will do? To add the bits in the next position, we will be using the same full adder that we have used previous for addition of the bits in the previous position. That means we we'll store this sum bit somewhere. We we'll store this sum bit. So what we'll do is since we are using the same full adder to add the bits in the next higher position, we need to save the sum and carry we have obtained during the addition in this position so store this sum in register store this sum in a register and also this carry will use temporarily before we are going to use the same full adder for addition of the bits in this position and the same full adder is now used to take inputs to take three input bits as 110 one, and it will produce the sum output as 0 the carry output as 1 and here also this 0 is stored in register stored in register in register because we are going to use the same full adder for the addition of bits in the next higher position what you have to do you have to store the sum obtained in this position in register after storing this sum you can use the same full adder for addition of the bits in next higher position and here the same full adder will take inputs 0 1 1 bits and it will produce the sum of 0 and the carry of so here if I since I am using the same ladder what I have to do I have to store this sum to store this sum in register and you can use the same ladder to add bits in this higher position so when I want to add the bits in this higher position now my ladder takes 101 as inputs 
and it produces the sum of 0 and a carry out of 1. So here also I have to use register to store this sum. No, we don't have any bits to add here further. We will be using the register to store the last sum also. In this way, if we could store the bits, some bits in a register and if we have a flip flap to store the carry that is to be added with next higher significant bits temporarily in a flip flap, we can use the same ladder to add the bits in each position along with the previous carry. This is a concept that will be used in serial addition. So the addition follows the method how we add this data on with paper and pen. But to add the bits in each position, we will be using the same full adder, but each time we will be storing the sum bits permanently into a register. The carry bit is stored temporarily in a flip flap so that it will be used uh, it will be used to add used in addition while we are adding the bits in next higher significant position so this concept of uh, the serial addition will be implemented by using a combinational logic circuit so here we go with so the same if two binary numbers that are to be added serially so here you can see the circuit the shift register A and shift we have used two shift registers And also we have used one full adder and one flip flap. So here shift register, these two shift registers are used to store the two data that are to be added. So that is a forfeit of any number of bits. So in that example we assume that is a forfeit data. So the data one data stored in shift register A and the data is stored in shift register B and the full adder is used to take the bits 3 bits at a time and it will produce the sum and carry and here you can see that these registers are not only store the data but they will shift the bits towards right why because we need to carry out the addition from LSB position to LSB position that means the LSB bits are to be supplied first to the full adder and after adding the bits in LSB position we have to add the bits in next higher position and so on up to the bits in we have to add the bits in most significant position so that means the shift registers the registers have to provide the bits to the full adder from least significant position to most significant position so we will be using shift registers to store both 
data A and data B and now oh, each shift register will shift its width towards right upon applying the clock pulse and shift right signal so with shift right signal enabled with each clock pulse the bits in register A and register B will be shifted towards right and this shifting of bits towards right happens continuously until the shift right is enabled and this shifting of the bits continuously happens at each instant of the clock pulse and also here we can use here we have used uh, so the serial output of each register register A and register B serial output of both these registers will provide the two bits required for the addition x comma y and the third bit for the full adder is the previous carry is provided by the flip flap here d flip flap which stores the previous carry that is carry generated by previous addition so the two binary numbers that are to be added serially are stored in two shift registers and here bits are added one pair at a time sequentially through a single ladder circuit the carry out of the ladder is transferred to the D flip flap so here shows the carry out of the ladder is stored in the D flip flap which will be used as the third bit for the next uh, addition of the pair of bits so the two shift registers are shifted to the right for one word period and some bit from s out of ladder so that means here so with each clock pulse the bits are shifted towards right and the sum output serial output will provide the bits required for addition and the same clock pulse the carry previous carry that is available the carry will be stored in the D flip flap. The carry that is available will be taken as the third bit. Now the full adder adds these three bits and produces some bit and carry bit. And with each clock pulse, the carry bit will get stored in the D flip flap. And the sum which produced by addition of these three bits can be stored in a separate register. Why we have to store the sum bit here? Because we will be using the same full adder for addition of the next higher the pair of bits. So, the sum will be last. So, in order to, in order to avoid this, we will be storing this sum bit somewhere. But instead of using another shift register, say shift register C, we will be using the same shift register A to store the sum bits because anyway the shift register bits the data bits present in shift register A will be shifted 
shifted towards right and the energy position is left empty so where we can store this some bit so uh, to minimize the number of shift registers we'll be using the same shift register a to store the sum bits that are generated so by shifting the sum into a while the bits of a are shifted out uh, it is possible to use one register to store both the eigen data and the sum data so this is eigen data and this is eigen data the two data that are to be added this is the circuit logical diagram of the combination circuit serial ladder and we'll be just reviewing uh, how uh, this circuit will carry out the similar addition of the two given data so the given data is loaded into a shift register a one data is loaded into shift register a say it is added again say the second data that is to be added is loaded into shift register b that is added and since the bits are to be added starting from the least significant bit position by the full adder the bits have to be shifted towards right by one position each time the full adder adds the bits along with the previous carry so in order to shift the bits we have used the shift registers for both add and line again bits and we will be using a shift right signal and when this signal is enabled so with each clock pulse the bits are shifted by one position towards right that means they are made available through the full adder and at the same time with the same clock pulse the output carry so the bits are available to the the two bits are available again and again the bits are available to the full adder which are taken as x y inputs by the full adder the third input for the full adder z are taken from the output of the d flip flop and the full adder adds the three bits x y z and produces the sum bit and the carry bit so with the same clock pulse the carry bit will get stored in the reflip flash and it is made available for the addition of the bits in the next higher significant position and similarly the sum will be stored in the same register where the addend bits are stored but since the addend bits again bits are shifted towards right the sum bits will be stored from the msb position onwards so while the again bits will be shifted out the sum bits are shifted in the serial out produces the again bits serial in into the shift register a produces the sum bits so finally after the final addition shift register a will contain the sum in the if you flap will store the final carry so let's see by taking an example how this process is actually 
fade out. So what we'll do initially the again that is a first data that is to be added is stored in register A. And the end is stored in register B and the carry flip flap is cleared to zero. So why the carry flip flap is cleared to zero? Because we want to make the initial carry to the collider as zero. Because when we are adding the least significant bits, there will not be any carry. So the carry bit must be made zero. So this is done by clearing the flip flap. So the addend is stored addend is stored in shift register B and addend is stored in shift register B and the flip flap is cleared so that it provides zero input carry when we want to add the least significant bits. And you can see that now when we load the data the serial out of register A provides the bit X for the collider and the serial out of register B provides the bit Y for the collider and the output of uh, the status of D flip flap provides a bit Z for the flip flap and the flip flap adds all these three bits X, Y, Z and produces the sum and carry outputs. So, so this is how the serial addition is carried out and you can see here with each with the shift right enable with each clock pulse the bits in each register A and B will be shifted towards right. The first LSV of again will be given out as serial output to collider as x and lsb of the addend will be given as serial out as bit y for the collider and these two bits will be added along with z and produces some and carry for the least significant position and the sum is again stored at the MSB position of register A and the carry with clock pulse and shift right enabled see shift, clock pulse and shift right enabled both will be given will act as a combined clock for the D flip flap. So when both shift right is enabled and when clock pulse occurs, the carry out of the full adder will get stored in the D flip flap. And it is available for the next addition or the addition in the next higher position. You can see that the shift right control enables both register and the carry flip flap. Hence, at the next clock pulse, both registers are shifted once to the right, so that the next bits in the next higher position will be provided as inputs for your ladder. And at the same time, the sum bit S enters the leftmost flip flap of A, that is, it enters from the MSB position, and the output carry is transferred to the flip flap Q. So, in the three actions will happen with shift right control enabled and the occurrence of 
clock price. What are the things? One is the bits he needs to register are shifted towards right. And the sum bit enters the flip flap and the output carry is stored in the flip flap. So for each succeeding clock pulse, the new sum bit is transferred to A and the new carry is transferred to the D flip flap and both registers are shifted once to the right. right. So with each clock pulse, the bits in these two registers are shifted towards the right by one position and those bits will be available at the serial out, serial output of the shift register and they are available as x and y bits for the flader and x and y along with the output of the d flip flap which is taken as z will produce a sum and carry by the flader the sum is stored in the shift register a from this left most position and the carry is stored into the d flip flap and this happens until the addition is carried out in all bit positions. So if the data stored is data that is to be added is 4 bit data, it requires 4 clock pulses. 4 clock pulses that means the data is to be shifted towards right by one position 4 times. And each time the bits will be added and the sum will be stored in register A and the carry will be stored temporarily in the D flip flap. And this is how the circuit performs the serial addition. And you can see there is a lot of advantage from the hardware point of view that we will be using only one full header irrespective of how many bits are present in the data that is to be added the same one full adder will serve the purpose of addition in all bit positions next we will look at an example of adding two data using Serial adder and the data taken, for example, is 1011, and the second data, the second 4 bit data is 0011. And so, what we will do is we will load 1011 into shift register A and 0011 into shift register B. and we will clear this uh, D flip flap so that Q becomes 0 and that is Q is available as Q equal to 0 is available as the third bit for the full adder that is Z equals 0 and it should be because Z represents the input carry and we want to add the bit set least significant position. So Z is 0 as we have cleared this D flip flap and after loading the data into these two shift register 
will enable the shift right signal and after enabling this shift right enable signal we'll apply a clock pulse here and this clock pulse shifts the bit in register a by one position so the serial out of shift register one will be its LSB so it is one and similarly the clock pulse is also applied the same clock pulse is also applied to shift register B and since and this will shift the bits in register B towards right by one bit position so the serial out of shift register B provides the LSB of the data present in B that is one here and since the flip half was cleared before it provides the zero so now the fill adder takes the bits 1 1 0 and adds these three bits to provide the sum of 0 and a carry of 1 and so it provides the sum of the 0 and the carry of 1 we will be showing simultaneously what happens um, in the combinational logic circuit and also how this is done with pen and paper so now this sum bit will get stored here from the leftmost position it enters into shift register A and what are the other bits left since previously it is 1011 and now the bits are shifted so it becomes 1 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 is a content and similarly you can see the clock pulse and the shift right signals the shift right signal and the clock pulse both combinedly will enable the will provide the clock for the D flip flop so since both are active now the carry which is produced one will get stored in the D flip flop with the same clock pulse and it is available in the available as the Q output of the D flip flop. So this one carry output will get stored into the D flip flop. And this is what all happens for the first clock pulse with the shift right signal enabled. And if you give the second clock pulse give the second clock pulse all the bits in shift register A will be shifted towards right by one bit position so the second bit in this higher position is available as the serial out so the next bit available for the fill adder as x x bit is
see one and similarly it also shifts the bit in bits in shift yesterday by one bit position so the bit available and bit that is given as the serial output and the serial output of the register b is this bit so it is one itself and at the same time the third bit is provided by the bit stored in the d flip flap which was one because the carry was stored previously and it is one so now the three bits will get added to the full adder by the full adder it is one plus one plus one so this outputs the sum of one and the carry of one and the sum of one will get stored in the shift register starting from enters the shift register from leftmost position and similarly with the same clock pulse and shift right enable the carry that we got that will get stored in the D flip flap so that it is available for the addition in the addition of bits in the next higher significant position so now so if we do with paper and pen 1 plus 1 plus 1 results in a sum of 1 and carry of 1 so this is what happens with the second clock pulse and with shift right enabled and with clock pulse by applying the next clock pulse by applying the next clock pulse the bits in the shift register will be shifted towards right by one position so that zero is available now with the serial out now the zero is available at the serial out from shift register a and zero is available in this serial output of shift register b and the same time since a1 is stored in the d flip flap the a1 is available bit 1 is available in the output of the d flip flap which is the bit z the, the ladder and now the full ladder needs to add the bits 0 0 and 1 so it will output a sum of 1 and a carry of 0 and this run immediately will get And this sum will be shifted into the register A with the next clock pulse and this zero will be shifted will get stored into the D flip flap with the next clock pulse and you can see that so with uh, pen and paper you can see what is the result It is 0 plus 0 plus 1, so the sum is 1 and the carry is 0. So when you apply the next clock pulse, the 
make the shift right enabled by applying the next clock pulse the sum bit 1 will get shifted shifted into the shift register A the same time the bit 1 is available as the serial output and similarly uh, bit 0 is available in the serial output of the register B at the same time with this clock pulse enabled and shift right enabled the 0 will get stored in the D flip flap and it is available in the output of D flip flap as Q equal to 0 now we can see that x equals 1 y equals 0 z equals 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 is the addition operation performed by your collider which results in the sum of 1 and a carry of 0 We can also see with the paper and pen 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 with a carry of 0. And you can see that in the application of the next clock pulse, this 1 will be shifted into shift register A from leftmost end, and this carry 0 will get stored in the D flip flap and it is available as the output carry so this is how you can see that the final result final sum is present in the shift register 1110 the same as see this result 1110 it is now available in the shift register A and the total result means the output carry is available 0 is available in the D flip flap now with the sum in shift register A and this is how Serial header adds data of any number of bits by using this simple combination logic circuits which includes only one full header.